Now we're going to look at what happens when we have different kinds of solutions. Up till now, we've been getting answers like this, x equals 5. And that would be one solution. That's our standard case. But in some cases, we get something strange and we get no solution, or we get something that equals itself forever and ever, and that would be infinitely many. Let's look at how that pans out. On this question here, we go ahead and do our standard things. We distribute, all right, we get 2 plus, or sorry, 2 minus 16, because the positive times the negative, plus 2x. But on this side, it stays the same. 2x minus 12 equals 2 minus 16 plus 2x. Uh, I'm going to collect like terms here and here. 2x minus 12 equals negative 14 plus 2x. We already start to notice something strange. There's a 2x on both sides. Well, why is that strange? Well, when we subtract it, because we want to bring the x's onto the left-hand side, we end up getting 0 over here, and we get minus 12. So 0 minus 12 equals negative 14. Uh-oh, we got some real difficulties when we realize that this number, negative 12, can't equal negative 14. And guess what? It will never equal negative 14. These two numbers will never be true. This equation cannot be true under any circumstances. So therefore, we have to say that this is false and that there is no solution to this equation. Why no solution? Because if we were to plug in numbers for x, no matter what we chose, I could plug in test 0. We would get 2 times 0 minus 12 equals negative 2 plus 2 times a negative 8 plus 0. We solve all that, we get minus 12 equals the negative 2, uh, and that minus 16, we'll get negative 18. That's not going to be true. So no matter what number we choose, we put in 0 for anything, we're never going to get a true statement, and therefore we have no solution. Now down to this question, uh, minus 20 plus 4x equals negative 4 into 5 minus x. We go ahead and distribute, and then we get negative 20 plus 4x equals negative 20 plus 4x. Something strange going on. This side's equal to this side. Again, if I were to take it even further, I don't need to. I could go ahead and subtract 4x on both sides, and we get negative 20 equals negative 20. That is always true. So, since that's always true, no matter what number we pick for x, we put infinitely many solutions. And that's all we, all we can do for that. So we have two cases. One, where it's true and it's infinitely many solutions because no matter what we put, pick for x, we're always going to get a true statement and we get a situation where we um, get no solution because 